welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lauren and I do videos about home decor, cleaning, and cooking here on my channel. So if you're not yet subscribed, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Now today's video is one of my favorites and definitely my mom's favorite. She was so excited when she found out I was doing another one of these videos. It is a what's for dinner style of video. Now today's video I'm extra excited for because I'm collabing with one of my new friends here on YouTube, Mandy from Mandy in the Making. Now I actually had the pleasure of meeting Mandy last week in person and let me tell you guys, she is just as sweet and kind and genuine in person as she is online. And if you guys are not familiar with her channel, she does a lot of videos similar to mine, so videos about home, cooking, what's for dinners, grocery hauls, a little bit of cleaning, and she puts out amazing quality content. Let me tell you, her what's for dinner videos belong on the Food Network, the filming, the editing, it is all so, so good. I know you guys will be so impressed, so I will have her video linked down below. Make sure you go and check it out whenever you're finished watching this one. Now, I don't wanna waste any more time, so let's just get cooking. Now, tonight for dinner, we are having chicken hummus pita wraps, and this is one of my husband's absolute favorites. I love it too because it is quick and easy, and there's essentially no cooking involved, but it's very flavorful, so tasty, and very fresh. And as always, I will have all of the recipes linked down below so you can go ahead and follow along, but let's just get cooking. Now the very first thing you're gonna do is prep your produce. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive. Now I don't know if anyone else watches the next Food Network star, but I saw a little trick on there the other day when I was watching it on Hulu, and I want to give it a try. So on the show, he said to put your cherry tomatoes on a plate, and then to put another plate on top. Oh no, are mine not big enough? Maybe I'll do it like this. And then run your knife through, and it'll cut them all in the center. So we're gonna actually give it a try. Okay, moment of truth. Super, super simple. Okay. Now before we start assembling, you're gonna go ahead and take your pita bread and put it in your oven right on the rack on the low broil setting just for a couple minutes so it gets a little bit warmed up and a little bit toasty. Okay, so now it is the best part. It's time to start assembling. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your red pepper hummus and go ahead and spread that across the whole entire pita. Now you're gonna do a little bit of spring mix on one half, and then take some cooked chicken and put that on the other half. Now we're gonna take the veggie mix and put it on the half with the um, lettuce. That just helps absorb some of the salad dressing. 
Oh my goodness, it's looking so good. We are out of like all of our spoons right now. They're all in the dishwasher. So I'm using a baby spoon and a fourth cup. I don't have any other spoons right now. Now you're gonna take your feta cheese and just sprinkle it on top of the veggies. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of green onions and sprinkle it on this side. Take some black pepper as well as some sea salt. Look at how yummy that looks. Now you can drizzle a little tiny bit of olive oil as well as some vinaigrette. And then you're just gonna go ahead and fold it and put a little skewer right through it and look how yummy that looks. Now I wanted to show you guys one more option. So my husband's been trying to eat a little bit healthier. So we are actually going to do a salad version. So go ahead and take that spring mix and then you can just sprinkle some chicken on top. Put a little bit of hummus. Lots of veggies. And then put some green onions as well as the feta cheese. And then once again, just top it with that red wine vinaigrette and then you have a salad version. Okay, so I'm not exactly camera ready, but I wanted to give this a taste because some of my favorite parts of what's for dinner videos, especially Manny in the makings are the taste test part. So let's give this a try. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Wow. I've never done this exact recipe before. Wow, this is so good. Don't even bother making your own red wine vinaigrette, the one I use. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow, I like don't know what else to say. You have to try this recipe. Even if you're not a fan of Greek food, I'm not a fan of Greek food. Just switch out that feta for mozzarella and do everything else as is. Seriously, anytime we go to a Greek restaurant, I cannot find a single thing I like. This is amazing. Okay, so tonight we are having spaghetti squash broccoli lasagna for dinner. And I actually made this a long time ago. Honestly, it was probably like four years ago, because it was back when me and my husband used to eat super healthy all the time because we were trying to lose weight for our wedding. And I remember I had seen this recipe on Facebook and given it a try and we absolutely loved it. So that's what we're gonna be having for dinner tonight. So the first thing that you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and we are going to cut this in half, put it into a baking dish, add a little bit of water and then bake this for about 40 to 50 minutes until it softens.
So while your spaghetti squash is cooking, you are gonna heat um, a couple tablespoons of olive oil on a pan, and then you wanna add about four cloves of minced garlic. I only had two, but ideally I would do four, but I think I'm just gonna compensate by adding some garlic powder a little later on. Next, you are going to be adding your chopped up broccoli. This was just two big like broccoli heads, and I'm gonna add that in there as well as half of a white onion. Now this is totally optional, but I'm going to be adding a little bit, just the tiniest amount of some crushed red pepper flakes. Now make sure you save the outer shells when you're done scooping them out because this dish is actually gonna be served inside of this. So instead of bowls, you're actually gonna use these spaghetti squash halves. Now to this mixture, you are going to add that broccoli, garlic, onion mixture. Now you are going to divide the mixture you just made into halves and fill them up into the two sides of the spaghetti squash and then you're gonna top it with a little bit of mozzarella and a little bit of Parmesan and you're gonna bake on the lower rack for 10 minutes at 400 degrees and then move it to the upper rack and um, turn the broiler on high just so that the cheese can get a little golden brown. To. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you Does it take to be so this is the finished product it is so good so cheesy also very healthy it is just spaghetti squash onions broccoli the only bad thing in here for you is the cheese and there's very a very small amount and it is so delicious okay so it is taste test time this looks so delicious I'm gonna put you guys down on the coffee table Mm. It is so, so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Even if you aren't trying to eat healthy, this is just a super, super yummy meal. I feel like, gosh, it's so good. You could definitely add like chicken or ground turkey um, if you wanted to have some meat in there. I actually originally planned to add some chicken, but I forgot, <laughs> but it is so good just as it is. Highly, highly recommend. As always, if you guys make one of these meals, definitely post a picture on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see it. So James is not gonna be home for dinner tonight, so I am just gonna make something quick and easy. This is something that I actually make for breakfast a lot, and it is just like a Mexican breakfast burrito. Now I need some whole wheat tortillas, eggs, salsa. This is some refried beans that I actually used for breakfast earlier in the week, and some cheddar cheese. Now typically I would add bacon to this as well. I thought I had bacon when I decided to make this and I don't, so we're just gonna skip out on the bacon today. So I always add the salsa into the eggs and then this salsa is um, chunky, so it has like onions and peppers and stuff and I just feel like it gives the eggs some flavor and it works out better in the burrito so that the salsa is not like falling out it's actually mixed into the egg 
So now that our eggs and refried beans are done, I'm just gonna assemble them into burritos. And my husband actually will not be home for dinner tonight, so I'm just making it for me and my two-year-old. I'm gonna have the full version. My two-year-old's gonna have a modified version because he does not like like the texture of eggs or refried beans, but I want him to get the protein in. Sorry if you can hear him in the background. So I am going to do the thinnest layer of refried beans for his and then just the tiniest bit of eggs and then a good amount of cheese because right now we are on a kick where it seems like all he ever wants to eat is cheese quesadillas. Um, we're getting into that terrible two stage. So I'm gonna trick him a little bit. So William's is done. I'm gonna let his cool while I make mine. For me, I always do it more of like a burrito. I just do his in a quesadilla form so that he can hold it himself and eat it. He is a little too young to be trusted with a full on burrito. This would be so much yummier if I had bacon or even like grilled chicken. I don't know if anyone else knows this trick, but I always add a little cheese on the outside and then when it's on the pan, it kind of acts as glue. So like I said with burritos, I don't like to just eat them like this. I like to make all the sides crispy, so I'm gonna put that back on the pan that this was just on. And this is tonight's dinner. So tonight my whole family is spending the night. My mom, my three sisters, and my brother. <laughs> when I said my three sisters. I counted two. She went. She went like this with a confused face. Okay, <laughs> side note, I only have two sisters. <laughs> you made me think. I had to think for a second. I was like, wait, do we have another sister? <laughs> I was thinking, I, I was trying to count real quick and I think I thought like me, you, and Callie. So I was like, oh, we're three sisters. <laughs> Redo. So I am making one of my favorites, I made this for my baby shower and also for William's first birthday. So they are just ham and cheese sliders and they are so, so good. So first what you're gonna need is some Hawaiian sweet rolls and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these in half. So now for the sauce on top, I'm going to melt half a stick of butter into the microwave. And then you're also going to need some sort of mustard. Um, the recipe usually calls for Dijon mustard, but I like to do Dijon and honey mustard. Some poppy seeds, some Worcestershire sauce, as well as garlic powder and onion powder.
and go ahead and stir that up, whisk it, anything to combine them. Now, if you have like a brush to brush these on top of the buns, that is best. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna spoon it on top and try to cover everything. Now, I don't use all of it, so there is a little bit left over. I'm gonna shake a little more poppy seeds on top and then a little more minced onion and then cover this with foil and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and I do half of that time with it having foil on it and then uncover it and do the other half just so that the buns can crisp up. So this is the finished product. It is so, so good. The mixture on the top is really what does it. I feel like without that it wouldn't be as good. It just makes it so moist and have so much flavor. And this is perfect if you want like cheap and easy meals for large events or family events, things like baby showers, birthday parties, whatever. It is so yummy. This is my 10 year old sister, Callie. Okay, take a bite and tell me what you think. Do you really like it? Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so it is the night before posting this. It is really late, it's like midnight, and I just realized I never did an outro for this video. So I just wanted to come on here and say thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you made it all the way till the end, and I really hope that you enjoyed. I know that I do a lot of videos on my channel about cleaning and organization and home decor, shop with me's, but I really do wanna start sprinkling in a little bit more cooking videos like what's for dinners, while also maintaining those other videos that I really like doing. So if this is something you enjoyed, definitely Definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know. Leave some recipe ideas in the comments. I was definitely starting to draw some blanks after a while, but all of these recipes were so, so good. If you can only try one, I would say go with the first one, the hummus pita wrap thing. Oh, it was so, so good. And if you came over from Mandy's channel, I wanted to say thank you so much. I really hope that you choose to stay and subscribe and join my little YouTube family. Definitely leave a comment down below and introduce yourself and say hi. We have an absolutely amazing community of just the nicest people here. And if you guys have not yet seen Mandy's video, definitely click, click the link in the description and go check it out. But thank you guys so much and I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day.